salutations, my mathematicians. We're going to be talking about how you're going to be doing this task, pirate ships. So Redbeard controls three pirate ships that are traveling the seven seas, plundering all they come across. Mean, horrible pirates, right? Oh, oh, so scary. So in order to combat these pirates, the world nations have put together a group of pirate hunters. That's where you come in to save the day and whose job it is to find and destroy Redbeard's evil pirate ships. Okay, so while it's difficult to find the pirate ships, you do have some help. A spy has discovered the equations that determine the routes of each of the pirate ships that they follow. So here are the three pirate ships that you are going to be dealing with. And you've been put in charge of one hunting ship that has to follow this route. So to destroy the pirate ships, we're going to find the point in our linear paths where each pirate ship will cross the path of the hunting ship. And at that point, we're going to put a mine so when they go over, it'll explode. So they won't see us. They'll never see the hunting ship. It'll just be like, bam, when they go by it. So they're going to leave a mine and watch as the pirates blow themselves to smithereens, ye scallywags. So what we're going to do is you need to know where you and your crew need to plant the mines. And thinking about this, it's where the ships intersect the point of intersection, the solution to a system. So therefore, you need to find the coordinates of the point where your hunting ship will cross paths of each of the pirate ship paths, your point of intersection. You're going to solve three systems of equations algebraically. Each system will have one pirate ship equation along with your hunting ship equation. The three systems you're going to make are pirate ship one and hunting ship, Pirate Ship 2 and Hunting Ship, and Pirate Ship 3 and Hunting Ship. We're going to show all your work, and you can use substitution or elimination to solve. After we solve, we're going to create a map. We're going to create a map and for the three hunting ships to follow. And they're going to have lines for the three hunting ship, for the three pirate ships and your hunting ship. And we're going to label each ship's line, and we're going to label the three points where the mines must be planted. Um, and you can input all the equations in Desmos to double check that your graph matches. And then we're going to answer the other questions. So that might be a little confusing. So here's an example with different equations. Notice this is not the problems that you're working with because I'm not doing the problem for you. And so taking a look, your example is our example. We're going to create three systems. So our first system is going to be pirate ship one and the hunting ship. So I'm going to use PS1 for pirate ship one and HS for hunting ship. So that would be pirate ship one. For me, x plus y equals six. And my hunting ship is 2x minus y equals one. So just like before, having two equations in our system, and we can decide to use elimination or substitution to solve. So taking a look at this system, I'm really feeling elimination because we already have opposite y's. So I'm going to say that I'm going to solve with elimination. I'm going to show that. So x plus y equals 6, 2x minus y equals 1 show that I'm adding the system and that my y's cancel out. So I get 3x is equal to 7. So x is equal to 7 thirds because you divide both sides by 3. Okay, remember after we find our x value, we still need to find our y. Notice equation one has a positive y, so I'm going to use equation one. I'm just going to show an arrow saying, oh, I took that answer, and I'm going to plug it into this equation over here. So 7 thirds plus y is equal to 6. Remember, if you have a fraction, you want to get rid of it, you can always multiply everything by 3. Um, but what we can also do is because I need to subtract 7 thirds from both sides, I can think about that 6 is equal to how many thirds? So 6 is equal to 18 thirds. So then you can think about 18 minus 7. So we can think that y, 18 minus 7 is 11, is 11 thirds. So this is a 
pretty. Oh, don't forget, write your answer as an ordered pair and give it some flair. Obviously, this is going to be a pretty tricky point to just graph, but that's okay. Most of yours will come out nice. There might be one that doesn't. Um, when you were looking at these three pirate ships as you're working through creating your next system, so your next system, you would have pirate ship two and your hunting ship, and you would go ahead and solve that system. So my pirate ship two is 2x plus y equals 20, and my hunting ship is 2x minus y equals 1. So again, I would probably use elimination here. And then your third system that you would solve would be, of course, your pirate ship number 3 and your hunting ship. For me, that would be 1 third y minus 25 thirds equals negative 2 thirds x. And my hunt hunting ship again is 2x minus y equals 1. When you are dealing with an equation with nasty fractions and you have an equation very similar, multiply and clear those fractions first. You're going to thank yourself. So I'm going to multiply everything in this equation. The denominator is all three. Multiply it by three. And if you want to think about that as three over one, I like write it on both sides of the equation so I don't make a silly mistake. So here we would get one third times three is 1y, so we'd have y minus 3's cancel out 25 equals 3's cancel out negative 2x. Be really careful with your negatives, but this makes a much nicer equation to solve. Um, I might want to just add 25 to both sides and use substitution here. Um, I could also bring my negative 2x over, my negative 25 to the other side, by, with addition and set this up so the like terms are lined up for elimination. Well then, what about your graph? Well, when you go to your graph, you're probably gonna wanna rewrite these equations in slope intercept form to graph them. So for pirate ship one, I would subtract X from both sides and now you get y equals negative x plus 6. So you might want to show a little bit of work of rewriting them in slope-intercept form. You can always do that on a separate piece of paper or on the side over here. And then to graph this, pirate ship 1, I would go up 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 to my y-intercept. My slope is negative 1, so I'm going to go down 1, right 1, and double-check that we're going downwards. Now I'm going to plot as many points as I can to make this as accurate as possible. Remember, we don't want to forget any of our labels. And you do want to use a ruler or a straight edge of some sorts to graph this line as accurately as you can. So again, this is pirate ship number one for me. It's not going to look like pirate ship number one for you. Then um, I'm going to graph, go ahead and graph pirate ship two. So my pirate ship two, and maybe um, there's enough room to show your work over here. My pirate ship two is 2x plus y is equal to 20. So I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. And that's how I get y is equal to negative 2x plus 20. Of course, yours will fit on the graph. But if something doesn't, of course, I know the slope of negative 2. And since my y-intercept doesn't fit on the graph, maybe I go look for my x-intercept. X-intercept, your y is 0. So I'm going to go and find my x-intercept. So 0 is equal to negative 2x plus 20. Subtract 20 from both sides. Negative 20 is equal to negative 2x. Divide both sides by negative 2. And x is equal to 10. And that I can graph. So here my x-intercept is 10. And my slope is negative 2. So I'm going to go down to right 1. Down to right 1. Down to right 1. Or up to left 1. And 
And the more points you graph, the more accurate your graph will be. And of course, I'm going to label this one pirate ship number two. So then, of course, I would do the same thing with pirate ship number three and my hunting ship. So if I went to graph my hunting ship, so my hunting ship, for me, not for you, though, remember, my equation is 2x minus y equals 1. So from here, I would subtract 2x from both sides, and I'd have negative y equals negative 2x plus 1. So I would multiply or divide everything by negative 1, and I get y equals positive 2x minus 1 for my hunting ship, and I would go ahead and graph that. So here is negative 1, my y-intercept. I'd go up 2, right 1, up 2, right 1, up 2, right 1. And I would use my ruler to graph that line and label it hunting ship. And of course, from before, I can label the mines with the coordinates that I found. So I found the coordinate for pirate ship one and my hunting ship to be seven thirds comma 11 thirds. Um, and so here, notice it is seven thirds comma 11 thirds. It looks like it's just past two and seven thirds is two and one third for my X and for my Y it looks to be between three and four and 11 thirds is between three and four. It's just a little bit more than three, but less than four. Um, so that's really great that I can make sure that my answer I found algebraically matches my graph. Wonderful. So then of course you would label your other mines and, oh, I guess we could label this like mine number one for pirate ship number one. And I could label this mine with whatever coordinates we found algebraically with substitution or elimination. From there, make sure to answer the other two questions. Um, when you are turning this in, make sure the scan or your upload is legible and include all the work that you needed to show to complete. Best of luck, pirate hunters.